What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Danger. This was going to be a knife review video. This is going to be a little something different. I'm not really sure how to title it or even explain it. A couple months back, a company called JXE JXO sent me these knives here and I did a very favorable review of these. They, they check all the boxes as far as a good throwing knife. Uh, they're, they're very affordable. They're readily available on Amazon and they throw well. So since then, Everybody and their mother has gotten a set of these. Now, <clears throat> the guy that sent these to me, his name's Charlie Yao, Y-A-U, forgive me if I'm, if that's not right, but uh, he's, he's a, a guy supposedly from Japan promoting and selling knives from China. Now, that's no big deal. Like I said, I, I did a very favorable review on these because they're on Amazon and I wanted some people to know if you're if you're looking for knives to buy on Amazon, you're looking to get into the sport. These are the ones to get to get because they're they're exceptionally priced and they and they throw very well. Actually, I'm not going to be doing any throwing in this video. I'll explain that here in a little bit. But you can go back and check out the video I did with these, and they're and they're, and they're excellent. Since then, they have sent me a larger version called the Thunder. It's the exact same knife, just larger, same thickness. Or actually, I take that back. They're even thicker. They're quarter inch and these are, I don't even know. I haven't measured them, I haven't weighed them, I don't care. Then they sent me these, which I was super stoked on. This is a dagger, it's handle heavy. This, this checks all the boxes for me as far as underhand throwing, which is my specialty. I did not have very good success with these. These are kind of an enigma to me. But um, let me, let me uh, I'm, I'm getting off track here. The reason I'm not doing a review of these. I'm not going to be showing you any throwing with those is because when I said that I was going to be doing another review of these and, and I'm referring what I'm talking about is I belong to the knife throwing community and that as a whole is mainly uh, in Facebook. There's a bunch of Facebook groups whom I, which I belong to. Uh, the, the main three are instinctive knife throwers group. I'm, in a, I'm, I'm an admin in there. Kick-ass knife throwing. I'm an admin in there and I'm a group expert in uh, throwing knife life. Those are the three main ones, which I belong to probably 20 to 25 knife throwing groups on Facebook. There are too many, and it's basically the same group of people just uh, cross-pollinating, I guess, there. So someone who's very prominent, and if you've been watching knife throwing on YouTube for any amount of time, you know who this person is. He, when I said I was gonna be doing a, a, a video reviewing these other knives, he became very angry at me. And at the time, I didn't understand. I was like, fuck you. I'm gonna do the fucking review anyway. Now, since then, I've sat on these for a while because since then, I, I like I said, I, I belong to all these knife throwing groups and these have been sent to damn near anybody that's anybody in the knife throwing community and not even just anybody, it's anybody, it's just anybody that was willing to do a favorable, not even a favorable review, just a review of these. They are all over the place. Not just this one, not just that one, not just this one. There's also a new design. I mean, they're cranking them out, man. It's very obvious that the people that are researching throwing knife designs, have, they have infiltrated the, the Facebook groups. They've been seeing what people make what people sell, what people throw the most. And uh, they've cracked the code as far as what works. Back in the day, back in the day, you know, there was, you didn't have to worry about Chinese, um, shut up. You didn't have to worry about Chinese uh, knife makers making throwing knives because they didn't understand what a real throwing knife was. It's always cheap Chinese, Chinesium, stainless steel, tiny stuff, you know, selling them in, in sets of 12 or with a dartboard or with zombie paint on them or iridescent paint or chameleon paint. or It's just, it, it's all a gimmick. So it, it was no big deal. But now they've kind of cracked the code. If you go to Amazon now, there are several different companies making viable throwing knives, stuff that is good. And so why is this a big deal? I only have 2,400 uh, subscribers on YouTube. My YouTube channel is not big at all. Uh, I, I get very few views, but what I do have is I'm well-connected. 
I've been around for 10 years now. I host Danger Fest. I know damn near all of the custom knife makers personally. Um, I know all of the top players in the knife throwing community. I know all the top throwers. And I, I've, got, I've got a little bit of pull. It's not so much that who's going to see my uh, video on YouTube. It's who's going to see me doing it on Facebook, Instagram, and, and whatnot. So um, I, I kind of realize that now. And uh, I'm not going to be promoting these other sets. Yes, I do think this larger set is good. This dagger here, I'm not so sure about. But I considered all these gateway knives, and it, I didn't think it was that big of a deal at the time. Gateway knives are just stuff that get you interested in the sport, get you hooked, and then from there, you'll move on to custom stuff. I, I design and sell my own knives too, so it wasn't like I was trying to take money out of other people's pockets by saying, oh, buy this instead of buying custom. No, always buy custom. Custom is going to last you for a lifetime. Uh, the warranty is going to be there. You're helping the knife makers actually feed their families. Yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna be doing any throwing with these knives. I can make any knife look good. You give me a butter knife, I can make it look awesome. That's not the point. What the point is, I think there's a little bit of underhandedness going on. And uh, I wasn't aware of that at the time. And I, it's become much more evident now that I see what's going on with how many knives. I mean, they're, they're handing these out like, like Halloween candy. It's crazy, I mean, but I don't know. I don't even know who I'm making this video for. 100 of you guys are gonna see it, so. Anyway, if you want some real shit, go to Lewis Prince Steel, or Prince Steel, wait, PrinceSteelKnives.com. Go to ThrowingZone.com. You know, Flying Steel, unfortunately, is out of business. Bullseye Blades, out of business. Um, Delta to Alpha, I have all of my designs on there. We have, Delta to Alpha.com has got a hub. It's got Ace Jet. It's got uh, Opus Knives. Damn, I was drawing a blank there. It's, it's got my designs. It's got, um, there, there's so much knives on there and I'm not trying to sell my knives or anything it's just if you want to get into the sport get into the sport and do it I don't give a shit about selling or making money it's about getting more people interested in the sport for the right reasons promoting backyard throwing not that WKTL bullshit so I don't know I'm done I'm done ranting here now thanks for watching and uh, I don't know be cool support support uh the real knife makers, man, don't, you know, I understand if you're, if you're on a budget and you need to get something to get you throwing, 100% get these knives, but um, if you can afford anything better than, you know, go and support people that, that you can actually talk to and are real people, not just a large company just spewing out knives for, they're selling these for so cheap, they gotta be making them for a dollar, like, these gotta be, literally, I bet they make these for a dollar, a piece, a dollar. That's how cheap they're, they're making them, so. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.